Hello from Competitive Edge Physical Therapy in San Jose, bringing you a educational video on walking gait analysis from our Human Performance and Gait Analysis Laboratory in San Jose. I'm Kevin Vandy, and this video will be about a common gait deviation seen after knee surgery called quadriceps avoidance. So let's get to the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video through in slow motion. We're looking at the right side. I'm going to pause it right here in initial contact. And what you see up here in these tabs are knee flexion angle measurements in real time. So what we see uh, here on the body are 3D motion sensors. This is how we capture our data at Competitive Edge at our gate lab. And what you see here is an initial contact angle at the knee of 0.4 degrees, which is excellent. We should see an angulation between 0 and 5 for that initial contact angle. You see a heel strike, which is excellent. That creates the starting position for the heel rocker in which the body weight begins to move forward over a rocking heel. It helps movement progression forward. As we increase the video frame by frame and you see the forefoot here start to approach the treadmill and you see the heel come up off the back leg, we term this phase loading response. And what happens here is we'd like to see the knee flexion angle increase to approximately 15 to 20 degrees. What we see here is the knee actually goes into full extension, if even a little hyperextension. So what's happening is the knee, the right knee, doesn't want to bend. And a couple reasons this could be the case. It could be a lack of quadriceps activation, neural control to the quadriceps. It could be lack of eccentric quadriceps strength, meaning the body lacks the control of the muscle as the muscle lengthens during shock absorption. In either case, this increases joint forces at the knee and is an abnormal gait pattern, usually post-operatively or after knee trauma. If we compare that to the other side, compare it to the left side, we'll pause at the same motion moment, right in initial contact on the left side. We see it's 8.6 degrees, so it's a little bent in comparison to normal. As we roll the video forward, if we're watching this left knee angle here, we see that that increases to approximately 14, 15 degrees, which is right near normal. That is uh, a better shock absorption pattern. So ways to fix this, you can do EMG muscle training to the quadriceps to help uh, the muscle learn how to be active in a shock absorption position. You can do traditional strength training drills such as squats and lunges and step ups. But eventually you're going to have to do some real time gait training to help someone who's developed this movement pattern learn how to uh, accept weight, accept shock uh, during the gait process in actual walking. That's what we do at Competitive Edge. Each day, we're a gait analysis laboratory. We focus on people with gait deviations such as walking and running and athletes looking to improve their form. Uh, find someone local in your area that does something similar, and they'll be able to help you avoid this quadriceps avoidment, uh, avoidance strategy. For more information on gait analysis and movement, you can check out www.compedgept.com. Check out our blog. Check out the other videos here on our YouTube site. Hope you enjoyed them today. Thanks and keep moving.